Yeah, man. Work one, work one, work one, lovely people. RSX is here once again, and welcome to Richmond's Media, where we give you quality content, quality entertainment. This one is trending news, which is trending all over <laughs> West Africa, <laughs> West Africa and Toronto. So, yeah, I woke up this morning with a full energy, as you can already see. Now, people say I said this too much. You know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying? I cannot stop saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's part of me. So yeah, basically news reaching me be say people are stealing cars preach, preach from up. all over the world. But there is an unlucky person who happened to be part of these victims. Aww. His car was stolen from Toronto September 1st of this year. Hey, last year, September 1st. And as we are talking to you right now, the car is in one of the, um, is yeah, it, how it, do they it, call it, it? Habo, in West Africa. Now, people are saying that this was in Ghana, please. The, the, in the video, they said West Africa. They didn't say um, Ghana. So people, you know, trying to shift this on Ghanaians, no, please. And also, let me tell you one, let me tell you one thing. It not be only, Af it's not like the Africans are stealing the cars. The white people too, them they steal, them they steal pass, the, the European. But bear in mind, when you steal a car in Europe and you send the car to another European countries, they will still catch you. So what they do is, when they steal the car, they sell it to the neighboring um, Africans, uh, you know. Because when they sell it to the Africans, they know that the Africa, they're going to send it to Africa. Africa, no one is going to attract you. If you are able to um, clear the car from the harbor, you are safe. So what, what what they do is whenever they store the cars, they sell to the African people so that they will sh and they will tell them to ship the car to Africa. You know what I'm talking about to Africa because when you ship the car to another European countries, it's like you are putting yourself in the fire. So they don't do that. So people in the comment section saying that oh um it was blacks, hey, you don't know innocent until proven guilty. Say and if we haven't caught them say it was a black person, it wasn't a black person. Now we don't know. Whoever stole the car, no idea. It was stolen um, September, October of last year. And what happened? So we were going out that day in the morning. My wife went out to get the car and uh, it wasn't in the driveway. When we checked the camera, the video from the camera, from the ring uh, doorbell, at about three in the morning, you see a car and two guys pull up towards the driveway. And about four minutes later, the light goes off, they're gone, the car's gone from the driveway. The news was broadcasted from CBC News. This car was stolen from a driveway in Canada. We found it in West Africa. Auto theft considered a national crisis in Canada with nearly all stolen cars exported by organized crime. Now, they didn't mention any BNBNB name. So, this news was posted on the 6th of September 2023. Now, let me read. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Oh, so this was from Ghana, and I was shouting like that. Pardon me. The call from Ghana woke Len Green at the Toronto home where his prized vehicle had been stolen a year earlier. I'm calling from CBC News, said the journalist on the other end of the phone. We are doing an investigation into stolen vehicles, and I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in your vehicle in West Africa. Wow, he replied. I can't believe it. That is crazy. I don't want to talk much, so without wasting much time, let's jump into the video so that you see all the catapults and the colondros that happen in West Africa. There you go. In one car, a phone number for the original owner, Leonard. I'm going to phone him. Might be too early for a phone call, or maybe looking at a number they don't recognize. Hello? Hi, is that Leonard? Yeah. Leonard, this is going to sound like a really weird call. Um, my name is David Common. I'm calling from CBC News. We're doing an investigation into stolen vehicles, and I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in your once stolen vehicle in West Africa. Yeah, I'm in West Africa. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you mind if I FaceTime you? Uh, I don't mind at all. This uh, look like your car? That's it. That's it. It was stolen um, September, October of last year. And what happened? So we were going out that day in the morning. My wife went out to get the car and uh, it wasn't in the driveway. When we checked the camera, the video from the camera from the ring uh, doorbell, at about 
three in the morning, you see a car and two guys pull up towards the driveway. And about four minutes later, the light goes off, they're gone, the car's gone from the driveway. And that's the second car stolen in six years. Really? From my driveway. I know this is probably not the call you expected today, but your ownership is still in the glove box. Um, here's your car. There's a car that still has a New Jersey license plate on it. The car stolen from North York over there. I can't believe it. And, and my documents and everything are still in there. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah? I don't know this I mean, what kind of thief be that? This thief who stole the car was senseless. He had no manners. He had no shame. He had no intellectual, uh, intellectual intelligence. How can you steal a car and leave the papers that belongs to the same person with the same number plate, everything intact? <laughs> what kind of thief? Ah. What kind of thief be this? You stole the car. It's not like I'm, I'm teaching people how to steal, but come on, if you are intelligent, any intellectual person, if you steal a car, you have to get rid of the number plates, get rid of the, 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 the belongings. For instance, everything that you know that could trace the car to the owner, you have to remove it. And you left everything in the glove box. Inclu <laughs> <laughs> so this is how they were able to find out that the car was stolen from Toronto because the the name of the car owner everything was in the letterbox everything that traced the car to the owner that's why they were even able to call the owner and talk to the person Len Green or whoever the name is so yeah basically I thought it was in Ghana but <laughs> it was in Ghana and I also don't know who stole the car. It could be a fellow white nigger who stole the car and sent it to Ghana or, you know, sold it to someone in Africa who could use. This could be the reason why everything was in the car. He was like, oh, my name is on it. Everything belongs to me. So this is my name. You can keep everything and then send the car to Ghana. And maybe that is why everything happened like that. That is why. The person also was like, okay, I bought it from a legit person, so let me keep everything intact. Because if the person who bought it knew that this car was a stolen car, why would he leave everything that would trace the car back to the owner in the letterbox? It doesn't really make sense. Well, this is my opinion, so you can also leave whatever you think in the comment section. Now, I will continue to read and break the news to you. CBC's David Common informs Len Green that his stolen car has been found in Ghana 8,005 kilometers from Toronto, where it first went missing a year ago. In the same slot, sorry, in the same lot, journalists found dozens of other vehicles, some with Canadian license plates, often with their provincial registration and insurance documents still in the glove box. All had been reported stolen from Ontario and Quebec. Quebec. Pardon me, pronunciation, there are some. I want to. Quebec. In 2021, there were just over 27,000 vehicles stolen from Ontario alone, according to a recent report by the Canadian Financing and Leasing Association. That is a car stolen every 17 minutes. So every 17 minutes, be a, a car is stolen in Canada. Wow! Oh my God! A large portion of them are leaving the country, said Dr. Sergeant Huanghuang, said Detective Sergeant Mark Haywood of Peel Regional Police. You will see about 80% of them going out through the port. In 2022, police and insurers said there was never before seen billion dollars worth of cars stolen in Canada. It has the country's insurance industry warning of much higher premiums on the most targeted vehicles. Wow! Look at the car, sports version. So, move your car to a sports version. Hey! I mean, if you are stealing, steal big. This is like when you dream, dream big as big as the ocean if you guys remember a phone was stolen in america or australia two days later the phone was found in circle in ghana someone was selling it but i don't really have a problem with this this wasn't stolen these were discovered they were discovered in ghana the same way our gold and our diamond and everything was discovered in the museum <laughs> when we were being colonized they didn't steal they didn't steal from us 
they took some of our resources, some of our gold, some of our, you know, precious, precious treasures, and they brought it to um, Europe and kept it safe for us. That is the same thing happening. They stole their cars, their mobile phones from their driveway. Probably sold it to African, you know, African man and was like, well, I'm not going to keep the car here. Let me also ship it back to Ghana so that I can keep the car safe for them. So it's like, if you do me, I do you. Man, no go verse. So don't verse. Anyways, it's not that I'm promoting anything. This is the news, but this is, the, this is my way of, you know, exporting, transgending the news for the transgenders of the analysis for you to enjoy the news. So... It's not like I'm promoting. No, I'm robbery is, is, is not good. This wasn't armed. They stole it from their own comfort zone without any arm. They just turned off the light and stole the car. So yeah, robbing is not good. Stop stealing. Stealing is not good because if you are found, you, you, you could end up in prison for like 50 years, 20 years, 100 years, depending on the type of uh, crime you committed. So stop stealing. But yeah, so these cars were discovered in Ghana. Apparently, they were, you know, trying to keep their cars safe in Africa for them. The name has always been R6. Peace, I'm gone. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for your little CC. Your little CC, they sing for you. Don't forget to click the like button. Your little CC, I did for your gonna. Please subscribe for me. Be subscribed. Subscribe, be subscribed, be subscribed, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.